Hello friends. I have a different kind of video today. This is an inspired energy video. And what happened was I got some video of the sun this weekend that it really ties in with some things I talked about on my live stream. And so I want to play that video for you. Before I do that, I'm going to give you an intro. I'd like to thank my friend Ralph, who was there for this experience and experienced it with me. It was awesome to share this with um, a friend. And I wanted to say that this shot of the sun and the one before it with the wave across the sun are still shots from the video. Okay. What I wanted to say by way of introduction is that I view the earth, humanity, and the sun as one system. And for those of us who can experience higher dimensional states, the effects of the sun can be immediate. We can even feel them before they happen. This goes for energies, for example, that emit and show on the Schumann resonance as well, which is a measure of non-physical energy surrounding the earth that ranges from zero to 40 plus hertz, which happens to be the same hertz range as the human brainwave. So there are many ways that I've come to this conclusion and the conclusions that I have about how the energies work, but I'm just going to tell you the conclusions rather how, than how I got to them to keep this short. When you look at the videos I'm about to show you, one of the things that might happen is you you might get a little freaked out like what does this mean for us because what the video shows is the sun flashing and those flashes kind of going out into our atmosphere they're clearly perceptible by us here on earth and the flashes clearly seem to be from the sun there are people that talk about that our planet and our sun our solar system is moving into a new area of the galaxy one with different levels of light and a different quality of light. There's also spiritual folks that talk about the concept of ascension. And from a religious, a religious perspective, this would be embodying the Christ within, the Christ energy or frequencies. And it's actually, in my view, it's, a, it's about energy. Because in my view, it's about embodying the energy of the soul into the human body. And it, it's my view that that's the definition of the Christ light. The soul is the Christed light. And so it's a connection with God, with the creator that made us and that put a divine spark within us. And we can learn to embody that throughout our entire physical body and our energy field, in my view. And I believe that this is why Jesus said, this you will do and more. He was trying to tell us that there would come a day when we would have the opportunity <laughs> to expand our consciousness and learn how to be more like him in terms of embodying that Christ in light because he obviously had a one con to one connection. Well, how I view the energy field here um, is that there's a physical body within the field, okay? And I'm not showing that right now, but there's a light. That's the light of the soul and it powers our energy field as well as the physical body powering the field through the electromagnetic radiation that we send out from our body. And here is what I want to tell you, and that's my notifications going off, sorry. What I want to tell you is that the quality of this light of the soul, it's a higher dimensional light is one way of thinking of it. What it does, in my view, is it allows the body to more easily integrate different light coming in from the cosmos, coming in from the sun, coming in from within our own soul, within our body, upgrading humanity and our consciousness. So this is how I view this. And I just wanted to explain that because I just, that's how I think about it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy these fascinating videos. There's seven clips for three minutes and 43 seconds. And actually the eighth clip is just an all is well clip. It's the end of the day where the birds are singing and another day is setting and the sun will rise again. Holy goodness. What are you seeing? Look at what the sun's doing. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh 
then. Let's see if it does it again. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> see, it affects the planet immediately. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so happy that we saw this. And I was your witness. Yes! Like being the new at the Shasta. Yeah. It's like we got because did you see that? I go, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was so incredible. I've never seen a sun dune. I have. <laughs> you have? Yes. I mean, I've seen it on a, on a, on a simulation. I've seen it in, just like we just saw it. In real life. It's on my web, it's on my Solaris uh, oh, I'm YouTube. Have to go look. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It just did it again. You gonna post it oh, on there it goes. I don't know. I might post it on Susan. Oh, cool. That is glorious. Yes. There's something very special about this spot. Yes. Yes. It's going to happen again, I'm sure, because the wind's picking up. I there it goes. There, there it goes. There it goes. I saw it. I saw the flash. Yes, the wind yeah. picked up first. Yes. There's something to the left, just above this tree, this pine tree. Uh -huh. so it looks like a, I don't know, it looked like a orb. Oh. Oh, that, that blue dot? Yeah. That's the sun. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the, the wind's picking up again. I bet it's going to happen again. Watch it. It's coming like in waves. Uh -huh. There it is, there it is. 